This video is made possible by Practical Defense Systems, the best online security training at the lowest prices. You can start your security career today online at pdsclasses.com. Check them out. Hi, this is Joel Persinger. I'm the Gun Guy. Thank you very much for all of your support of Gun Guy TV. I'm very grateful for everything that you do. I really, really am very, very grateful. So believe me when I say it. Please do check us out on these alternative platforms. There's a bunch of them. Now, that way, if something happens to us on uh, YouTube, which is always possible, you'll know where we are. Probably the most stable one, or the most, po not most stable, most popular one so far is BitChute, as far as people subscribing there. Uh, but you can check the other ones out as well. They're all good. And I would check the ones that are not big tech, just in case. You might also listen to the Gun Guy TV Firearms Podcast. It comes out twice a month, and it is available on your favorite podcast player. And if you'd like to get the kind of exclusive content that I provide only to the Patreons, uh, Patreon patrons, you can also join us on Patreon. Okay, what am I talking about today? I'm talking about a binocular, and that may sound like it's really, really boring, but it's not. You know, look, I've been hunting all my life, and I've been camping and so on all my life, and I've dealt with and owned cheap, low-quality, mid-quality binoculars my entire life. And I have to admit, I really never understood the difference until a few years back. I bought these from Optics Planet. I can unsnap them. And these are not the ones I'm going to talk about because as far as I know, they're not available anymore. I don't even think they make them anymore. And these are uh, from Trijicon. And these are their 8x42 eight by, uh, eight by Trijicon binoculars. I bought these and I started hunting with them and it was like, Wow! <laughs> the difference in the glass was amazing. I have a couple of hunting buddies that went, they'd look through them and then they were disappointed with their cheap binoculars. You know, one one of my friends, Zach, was really commented about it a lot when we went out hunting Javelina one time. Well, these are 8 buys, and I really wanted some 10 buys. I bought these, by the way, from Optics Planet. It's been a couple of years ago, and uh, they, they've since discontinued them, so they're tough to find. But that's okay, because there are other quality brands out there, Steiner being one. I wanted some 10 buys, and so I got these 10 by uh, binoculars from Optics Planet as well. And these are the Steiner Peregrines, and I've had these, boy, for a year, maybe, right around there. And I keep them in my truck all the time. These are 10 by 42s. These are always in my truck. I use them continually. I just got back from a week long camping trip because I wanted to try out our, uh, our Kodiak canvas wall tent and a lot of other gear. And you'll find information about that and some videos and stuff like that on the Patreon page. But in the process, obviously I had these binoculars with me and every morning, every morning because of where I was camping, there were mule deer every morning. I mean, sometimes you didn't need binoculars. You literally could pick up a stone and throw it and hit them because if you sat still enough while you're drinking your coffee by the fire, they literally would walk right in front of you. I had one walk about 15, 20 feet from me. Of course, it's not hunting season and in that area they're safe anyway because they're protected. Uh, and they know it. But there were also turkeys and other game and sometimes they were far enough away where this became a grand option to sit there and watch the wonderful game uh, that was out in that area. And it was so peaceful and so nice. And I came back so refreshed and I sleep better in my own bed, but boy, I want to go back again and just get out in the tent again and go camping again. That's where you're going to find these are, are very useful. I did not realize how often I would use a binocular until I started carrying them in my truck all the time. In fact, at this point, I have the binocular this little handy dandy mounting device and the this uh, Vortex tripod, which is a Vortex uh, Pro GT tripod. I think I did a review on it. If I did, I'll link it uh, for you. And I, I keep those three in the truck all the time because if you take this and attach it to the tripod, which I think I can do, and now you attach your binocular to the front, you can use it with the binocular. That's very useful if you're hunting. Uh, because you're going to do a lot of glassing if you're looking for big game, medium-sized game, or whatever. Otherwise, you're sitting there with your hand on your knees trying to stabilize it. And for the longest time, I did travel around with just a binocular in the truck and my hands on my knees sitting there trying to see what I was looking at. And I found that the 10 buys 
uh, are many of them are kind of jiggly. These are not, but even so, with any powerful binocular, you want to have something stable so that you can glass for a long time. Otherwise, you're going to get a bit of a headache. All right, speaking of headaches, now, again, I started off with the eight buys from Trigicon. The glass on both of these is phenomenal, by the way. And what I discovered is when I sat for hours and hours glassing, even with the tripod, with my cheaper binoculars, I'd start to get a raging headache after a while, kind of an eye strain headache. But I did not, that did not happen with these, ever. And I've spent hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours glassing for game with these. Well, I've had these for a year, so I've spent hours and hours and hours and hours glassing with these too. And not once have I ever had an eye strain issue. So that's one of the importance of really good quality binoculars. Uh, so I would urge you, if you have the extra dough, spend the money on a good quality binocular. Because if you do, if you use them a lot, if you hunt or you're a bird watcher or whatever, or even if you're at the range and you just use them to call shots uh, rather than a spotting scope, a spotting scope is oftentimes better for that because it's going to give you more magnification, but it depends on what you like. Um, sometimes you can get yourself some eye strain if you don't have a really good binocular. And the other thing is it's really difficult to identify objects at a distance with a binocular where the glass is starting to get fuzzy. It may not seem fuzzy at 100 yards, but at 500 yards, 300 yards, 200 yards, yeah, it starts to get where you're going, wait a minute, is that a tree or is that a bush or is that a... And that's where having a quality binocular with crisp, clean, awesome glass is going to make all the difference in the world. So that's it. Those are the Steiner Peregrine binoculars. I could not possibly be happier with them if I wanted to. So check them out. Uh, the link is in the description for Optics Planet. That's where I got them. And they have a really good deal on them. So look them up there. And if you want to, you can also use our code. I think it's GunGuy5. But I'll look it up and I'll put it on the screen here and put it in the uh, description for you. So you use a proper code for it. And that way it will save you a little bit of money on all your purchases in Optics Planet, not just not just this one. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful week. And wherever you go, wherever you, uh, whatever you do, uh, stay safe. I started to say, have a, a Merry Christmas because I almost forgot to say it. We're getting close to Christmas time. So Merry Christmas to you. I'm going to say it on every video until we get there. And now I'll say, wherever you go, whatever you do, stay safe.